Good morning, this is Debbie. And I'm gonna give you a garden update. I know I just posted one, but I filmed that one back in uh, September and this is uh, October the 2nd. And uh, everything's doing really good. It's grown a lot. Um, my morning glories are so pretty in the morning. So I came out here this morning, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see them. The sun is on them. But all of my tomatoes are, and my marigold, that's one marigold, and it's just gone crazy. And that's the one little piece of uh, wandering Jew that my mother had coming up in her garden. My mother died, uh, oh my Lord, I guess it's been almost 20 years ago. And these are my peppers, and that one little piece of Jew kept straggling in the flower bed and the chickens kept scratching it up. And my brother had one little tiny, brother-in-law had one tiny little piece in a pot and it was, I stuck in a pot out here, it's just gone crazy this year. And my tomatoes are still, just started putting out again. I mean, I had cut them down real low and they're just popping back up. And I can't get over all the tomatoes. They're, uh, they had completely, well, I don't see any on this one, but uh, all these others are just, and look at the peppers. Oh my, these peppers have gotten so big. And I don't know if you can see them, but they are just covered. They're just covered in peppers. Yeah. These are, I'm getting so many peppers and look at here. Let me get in here where you can see these tomatoes. They're just covered in these little tomatoes. Some of them are just about the size of uh, the end of your thumb here. But a lot, some of these tomato plants didn't put out all summer, but they're all putting out now. It's gotten to be, uh, and these okras, I'm letting this one okra plant go to seed. And I'm gonna use these seeds next year because that was some really good okra. And the tomatoes, I don't know, can you see that? I'm filming this on my phone. And they're just, there's just, there's just hundreds of them. I had so many this spring, I've got, two huge bags of them in the freezer and I'm hoping when these get done I planted out most of this stuff in September these are my noodle beans this is something new I've never tried and I just stuck six of them in there to see what they would do and they're doing I planted some corn in September and it's uh it's crazy. I planted these eggplants in September. They haven't made any little fruits yet, but uh, I planted, um, let's see, what is this? I just planted this. It's uh, Brussels sprouts. Now, I'm not a big Brussels sprout fan, but uh, the kids enjoy them. And if it starts making Brussels sprouts, I can uh, blanch them and put them in the freezer for Christmas when they're coming back. My uh, my grandson helped me put this uh, trellis up. I think they were trying to cheer me up, but I, and these are uh, more jalapenos and I don't know if you can see them in the sunlight or not, but these are my anchos. I had given, just about given up on these bad boys. I'm going to tell you, these are not hot weather peppers. But now that it's cooled down considerably, they're doing much better. And my okra, I have got so much okra. Oh my, so much okra. And uh, I think that the okra are just about coming to an end. Of course, I've got some little ones coming from the bottom, so maybe not. 
And this is my uh, cantaloupes and the leaves. Anyone knows what's going on with these leaves? They're just shriveling up. But I do have a cantaloupe. I was so excited when I saw that. I just can't get over getting stuff in the garden. And I plan every year and I never get anything, but this year I'm actually getting stuff. I planted some seeds for some green onions and they're coming up. They're getting bigger. And this one mystery plant is a canna. I don't know how it got out there in that pile of dirt, but there it is. I planted one little bell pepper. I don't like bell pepper, but the grandkids do, so. Here are some more jalapenos. And they've got little tiny ones all over them. I picked them the other day. So, and this little tomato plant down here that just, he just won't give up. He started again over here. He's just creeping along the ground and just keeps making tomatoes. Here's some more corn. It said you could plant, uh, and here's another jalapeno. He's not in that pail. He's just leaning over. They said that you could put five stalks of corn in one of these grow bags or one of these tubs, and I guess they knew what they were talking about because I've got ears of corn on here. Let me see if I can show you. There's an ear, and here's an ear, and there's an ear. And uh, these uh, okras. I picked, uh, I picked last night, so. And these little, these little suckers that I put into these pots are all doing real good. I started out this spring and all the seeds I had were left over from last year. I was out of work for five months, so I didn't have any money to start a garden. And I have done everything out here by scrounging. I uh, I saw a lady called Robbie and Jerry's garden. No, wait a minute, that's not right. Jerry and Robbie's garden on YouTube. And she had what she called a tub garden. And she was putting her tubs in Rubbermaid totes. And I thought, well, I can do a couple of those. And I called my sister, my ex-sister-in-law, and she buys these storage units that people have abandoned. And I asked her if she had any totes she wanted to get rid of. And she brought me these, uh, this first roll of totes here. So I put in one little roll of totes and I got a shovel and I went out there in the tree line and dug up uh, leaf mold under those trees and put in it. And I put in a little bit of compost and I had a bag of peat moss and I put some peat moss in there. But then I had another friend that came by. She was cleaning our storage unit and she brought me this roll of tubs. I had the grow bags. I bought the grow bags when I got my uh, stimulus check. I think it was like $25 for six of them and they hold 20 pounds. And I wouldn't get any that big again. And then my other friend asked me if I wanted some tubs and she brought me the big blue ones out there. And uh, these big, these great big black ones, my brother-in-law, I already had these out here. My brother-in-law uh, got those from a landscaping company. It was putting in trees, they were gonna throw them away, so he brought those. And uh, the wading pool I already had, that's what my ducks used to swim in. But I had, uh, I had a few seeds from last year of assorted types, and I had one package of tomato seeds and I started those, I started 50 of those Roma tomato seeds in my uh, greenhouse window. And only 20 of them came up. And out of those 20, I think only like 15 of them made it. Uh, but uh, as I planted them, when I originally planted them, I had like one or two 
in several of these tubs, but uh, I pinched off the suckers as they come up. And uh, you can root those suckers in water. I, I, well, I had heard that, I didn't know that, but I tried it. I have over 70 tomato plants now. And I'm telling you that pinching them little suckers off works. But anyway, I need to get some more tomato steaks. My grandson made these for me out of an old picket fence. I had everything in the world out here holding these up, but I do need some more. Uh, he made me quite a few. All of these were a little roll of picket fencing I had because I didn't have anything to stake them up with. But anyway, you can start from absolutely nothing. And when I got to go back to work, I bought the, uh, the bull wire to make the trellis with. And uh, out there, he made me a greenhouse. I think they were trying to cheer me up, but you know, my son passed away about two weeks ago. He was in a horrible accident, but this is how I entertained myself this summer when I was out of work. And he didn't get to see it. Uh, Anyway, that's my video for the day. Thanks for watching. God bless.